Hey, honey, did you see that hibiscus flower over there? I did. But it's white. I know, I thought it would be red. Look, Mr. Brown, look how beautiful the morning is. Just soaked some feed, and I think Mr. Brown has found his happy place. Are you gonna be happy here while I do the rest of the chores? No. No? That, that's probably, that, that may be accurate. We'll see. Are you gonna help me stir this one? All right, let's stir it. We're stirring in today's ration of food with the kitchen scraps. Kitchen scraps are at the bottom, so we're trying to bring them up. You like this job? Do you love your papa? I need a shirt that says, love your Mr. Brown. Come on, Guinea Klein, who are you picking on? Come on, easy up. Where's the tea bag? Oh, there he is. Let's just inspect, buddy. Okay, your eye is bright eyed and bushy tailed. Look, he's trying to, he's not eating. He stopped eating as soon as the big guy came out. So I'm gonna get him a pan, kind of hide him away over here. How's this, tea bag? There you go. There you go. Your own little secret eating spot. And then that way he's hidden from Obama over here. Evidently, this is too in the open for tea bag to get in here on it. It's good to know that he's submitting. That means they're not going to fight again. He's definitely in submission. He's hiding. He's not trying to provoke anything. That's good. The guinea, on the other hand, picking on people. What is your deal? The, the mama hen, still not too interested in the food. Out here with one of her chicks, foraging. Look, they've taken down this Swiss chard. I see y'all's favorites. And I don't think they're eating the hibiscus tea. They're getting under there for shade. But they probably are gonna take it down. I'm done doing the morning chores. I've had this idea for this inspirational video about planting seeds. It's based off the book, The Man Who Planted Trees. I'm trying to encourage myself and others just to plant. And uh, in this case, for us, just planting seeds like vegetable seeds, no matter what. Basically, what I'm trying to tell in the story, this inspirational video, is the idea of persistence. The guy, the man who planted the tree was, was very persistent and ended up paying off in the long run despite all the failures, despite that most trees wouldn't make it. That's the persistence we need in seed planting and farming and gardening. Just plant. In that book, The Man Who Planted Trees, he planted like 100,000 trees in three years. So I'm, I'm wanting to like visualize that. Not all of them made it. It's quite drastic how many didn't make it. So I kind of want to set up some props of what it looks like, what 100,000 trees would look like, you know, and then uh, show how drastic when I take away the, all the ones that didn't make it. It's quite shocking. So I'm thinking pick a, just picking a limb to let it represent a tree or a, actually a forest. So maybe one limb will represent 10,000 trees. Okay, I'm done filming. I set up a shot where I plant seeds in new soil blocks. That wasn't necessarily the plan, but it's so interesting because I feel like I had already did my last planting of the year. But then superior seeds, uh, terrier, ter I'm just butchering it, these people. Ter terror? Oh gosh, Becky, I have no idea to say it. Terror? Oh my gosh. These people, these people, 
Okay, they had sent me some seeds in the mail. They're cool season, and so I planted this tray for the movie. So I figured, why not plant the rest of it? And I know lettuces and stuff can still be planted at this time. And I'm definitely encouraged about how the turnips are doing. Spinach are doing okay. Onions are doing great. Everybody came up there. And the collards are doing awesome. No lettuces came up in that one. There's some Swiss chard down there. But since no lettuces come out, that's another incentive to plant some of these lettuces. Good morning, Josiah. Good morning, Jonah. Hey, tell me about this, guys. Looks like you've got some beautiful artwork on the blacktop. Yeah? We chalk. everybody's names? Oh my gosh. Did you really trace yourself? No, Christy did it. You, did you really lay down? Yeah. And get traced? Yeah, watch. So who's that? Um, we don't know. It's oh, that's you? Okay, cool. And this must be Lily in a skirt. And is that Gideon? How crazy. Did y'all lay down or did she just draw these? We lay down. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh, it's a mermaid. What else, right? Mermaid. Cool. Mermaid. Oh, you recognize it, don't you? Mermaid. You know what that is. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go eat. Whoa, Josiah, you got quite the collection of stuffed animals. Yeah. You really do like stuffed animals, don't you? Yeah. He's good. wanting to paint like big brother and big sister. I don't know, I hope I don't regret this. It's just washable, right, Beck? Sure. Yeah, it's washable. Funny thing. There it is. All right, that's it, you paint. Look what the water is. Move the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're not doing half bad. You want this one? It's white. All right, I don't know if it'll show up. Oh my gosh, are you eat? Don't eat it. Did you get any on your mouth? Look, look at me. Okay, don't just don't eat it. Yeah, yeah. There, yucky. there's your white one. It is yucky. All right. You get yucky. Enjoy. We'll see the masterpiece when you're done. There's his finished masterpiece. Not bad. He didn't make too bad of a mess. We got an update on our school bus. It's on our way to us. Actually. It's gotta go a long way. It's actually going from, is it going from Oregon, Mom, or Washington? Portland. Oh, or Portland, Oregon, all the way to here, North Carolina. That's a long way. Check it out. Well, that's a beautiful scene. And isn't that cool? Big view from the big glass window. Obviously, the bus must be in good traveling condition because the sellers are willing to drive it all the way across the country. Oh, now let me do say something about these pins. These pins are not the places we plan to visit. These are people who have visited us. And we have pins all over the map. But we do plan on, uh, here we are in North Carolina. So early, in, early next year, heading south, okay? Down into Florida, and then staying south into Texas, Southern California, places like that. Coming into the early spring, and then zig zigzagging back across in the fall into New England and into the early, late fall, early winter, back down through the Virginia, Kentucky, all those kinds of places. As for the bus, we're very excited, especially after seeing this picture. That was Friday night. I don't know if these two people are uh, just hauling, hauling tail. Maybe they are, where are they? They are currently in Lincoln, Nebraska. Lincoln, Nebraska, now it seems far away, but when you look it up, it's only like what, 13? 15, 14, 15 hours. So, it's very well possible that if they travel all day today, like this could happen like Monday during the daylight. Yeah. We were thinking, no way. So, yes way. Now, if there's anything sweeter than the brothers painting the sister's toenails, you guys saw that in a few episodes back. Oh, it looks like he's done it again. No, I did it. Oh, you did that? Yeah, I did If there's it. anything sweeter than a brother doing his sister's toenails, it's a son doing his daughter, his mom's toenails. <laughs> and I doing a crazy bad job. No. <laughs> and do you like your color choice? Thanks. Piggy paint. You you putting on the piggy paint? Yep. Yeah. You want me to finish it? Yes. Okay. Oh, the chickens. They are eating some of that hibiscus, and they're also using it as a shade. How cool. Yeah. Check it out, our first flower. Yes. 
Oh no, what are you doing? I'm just gonna, I'm just cleaning it up. What, he didn't do a perfect job? Well, he just got like, like right there. It's like all over my toe. <laughs> Look at Miss Lily. About two days ago, she started pedaling a bike. Pretty much did it by yourself. Let's look at the concentration on that face. About to make dinner, gonna try something new with a spaghetti squash from our farm. Normally, we've cut the spaghetti squash just in half, just like that. But today, we're gonna do something really interesting and cut it like this. Now, I'm gonna cut out the insides of each one. We've got the rolls here, but I did a little trick we learned from Mr. Google Pants, is put some salt on there and it brings out the moisture, and it has. So now I'm gonna wipe the salt off. And that should make it more dry, more noodly like Okay, so now I'm taking over for the rest of the dinner. I've got the Italian sausage in the pan. I've got the sausage all fried up over here, and over here I have my tomato sauce that I froze, and I have that cooking. In the sausage pan, I cooked up some onions, peppers, and garlic to kind of saute that and get it nice and brown, and then I threw it into the tomato sauce, so that will be for me and the kids, and then Justin will just have Sausage with the spaghetti squash and some olive oil and salt and pepper. Oh, and basil and oregano. Just pulled the spaghetti squash out of the oven and look at that. It is like really spaghetti-like. I'm impressed. Justin is helping me out with the spaghetti squash, getting the plates ready, so let's take a look at it. It seems like it's- it super good, super dry. Check it out, it's like, it's seriously like noodles. It's amazing. I don't think we'll ever, I don't think we'll ever go back to the old way. And this is what it's all about, folks. Spaghetti squash off the land, tomato sauce off the land, onions off the land. What else off the land, is that it? That's pretty good. And looks like it's a hit. They say no. <laughs> they're, it's not, they're not my favorite. But. It's not their favorite, but it's what's on the farm, isn't it, guys? And then this. If it was if it was rice noodles, they would be chowing down. Yeah. But you can't grow rice noodles on the farm. Mm -hmm.